everybody. Well, I finally got my new pair of rhino rat snakes in from Rob Stone. Thought I'd show you guys them. First up is the male. He's a yearling. So he's kind of in between the color change right now. It's when they're born, the juveniles, the neonates are kind of a gray or silver color. And then as they mature, they start turning green, and a mature adult's going to be usually a bright green. So right now he's kind of half green, half gray still, kind of like a dull green, I guess, looking. Let's see how big he is. Pretty small. They're born pretty tiny. And so yeah. There he is. He's a, as I said, a yearling. Really pretty. I can't wait to see how he'll uh, turn out as an adult. A better close-up of him. As you can see, he's got some green on him. But it's not really a very bright green quite yet. He's also got a uh, white nose. At the tip of his nose, it's white, which is kind of a neat trait that I've seen in other rhino rat snakes before. Kind of interesting. So look at some of the pattern in between the, the scales and at the edges of the scales. Yeah, really cool. So that's the male. Now I'll show you the female. She's a 2011 baby. And as you see, she's got more of just the gray coloration still. She hasn't started getting any green on her yet. Also, you'll notice she has a lot of pattern. Uh, a lot more than they typically do. So I'm hoping that that will stay around and she'll carry that over to her adult coloration and have a lot of that nice black and white tipping of the scales and in between the scales pattern that stands out from the bright green, or in her case, possibly blue or blue-green. Um, she's produced by Rob Stone, but indirectly. Um, Rob Stone has a pair of blue line rhino rat snakes that he's working with and a couple of years back he sold a pair from that breeding pair to some other guy and that other guy has now bred those pair together and produced this one so she's a essentially an F3 generation of this blue line so hopefully she'll have some nice pretty blue colors on her too other than just the green but she's just really a pretty snake and I love all the pattern that she has it really is nice looking As you see she's not not very big at all since she's so young so for those of you that don't know much about this species, or maybe you've never even heard of this species, because they're not really a real common snake to see in the pet trade. Um, yeah, the common name is rhino rat snake. That's the most commonly used one in the United States, at least. Um, scientific name is Rhinchophus bollingeri. Um, they never were placed in the genus Halafe with the other rat snakes, so they're more of like a common name rat snake, you could call it, since they never were really in that genus with all the other rat snakes, Halafe. They, as you notice, they've got this really unique looking horn, little nose appendage on the tip of their nose. Really a unique, cool little snake. And as I mentioned earlier, the adults are bright green, so really pretty as adults. 
and I can't wait for these both to grow up and see how nice they look. Um, they're from Asia, mainly around China and Vietnam. They're uh, arboreal, or some might say semi-arboreal snakes. Um, they like to climb a lot, like to go through low shrubs and trees and stuff like that. So if you're going to keep them, uh, keep them in a arboreal or semi-arboreal setup. Since I just got them, I'm basically just keeping them in this uh, little six-quart tub with a hide. Uh, that will have, you know, for humidity also, you know, moist paper towel or moss, and then a water dish, and then maybe one little fake plant or something, because sometimes they're they're real uh, sensitive eaters as babies, so I don't want to stress them out by putting them in a really big cage. The smaller, the better, usually, in a uh, case of a baby rhino rat snake, to a point, obviously. About a six-quart Sterilite tub or so is probably the best size for them because some will go off feeding if you put them in a really bigger tub or really big naturalistic vivarium at first which eventually you can do that once they're adults and feeding really strong they would probably really enjoy that but you can see why they have the name rhino rat snake it's that unique little horn on there it's kind of fleshy. It, it bends around and stuff as they push on the side of their tank or if they bump up against me or something. It, it's flexible. It's not hard like a like you'd think a horn would be. These are just awesome little snakes. They don't get too big. Uh, adults typically get about four foot long is probably average. These have basically been my dream snake species for quite a while now. Ever since I saw my first one at an expo or on the internet, I've been really wanting them. And uh, they're fairly expensive, so it took a while for me to decide to save up and get them. And I talked to Rob quite a while ago. I th it was, it's been almost over a year since I first talked to Rob Stone and about getting a pair of them, and ended up waiting for them the this one to hatch out. and get feeding well. Where's the male, as I said earlier, is a yearling, so he was kind of already going and well established, and I was just waiting on the female rhino rat snake and the coxie, or the red tie bamboo rat snakes, which I also got a pair of those, and I'll show those in another video. So look for that also if you're interested in bamboo rat snakes. But yeah, this is the new rhino rat snakes. Really cool, really pretty little snakes. They look awesome as adults. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.